So first of all, congratulations as a Star Trek fan. I, I effing loved the movie. You were both fantastic. So, Thank you. Okay. Um, I have to ask, is it nice to be able to talk about the film finally? Yeah. Yeah, the, you know, this film was cloaked in such a degree of secrecy. Uh, we were driven to set in, like, covered golf carts. Uh, our scripts were read because they couldn't be photocopied. They had our names all over it. You couldn't walk around the studio without having a big jacket on for fear of, like, prying eyes mm -hmm. in, in, uh, in helicopters with photo lenses. So it's really lovely that uh, we're at the point now where we're handing a film that we really love and are proud of, uh, handing it over to an audience. We just hope that uh, an audience uh, appreciates it and has as much fun watching it as we had fun making it. So uh, now I'm going to hit you up with something. Uh, I'm possibly friends with Simon Pegg. And he possibly gave me I'm a question. I'm so sorry for you. Yeah, it's okay, though. He's a nice guy. So um, I have a question for each of you. Just here we go. Is this from Pig? From Pig. Oh, gosh. Okay, so uh, for you, uh, who looked the sexiest at the London premiere? Oh, God. Peg. <laughs> Jesus, I have to say Simon Pegg. Really? <laughs> yes. You're going to fight him on this? You're just going to give up like that? Well, he, he was the only one besides me that was wearing a skirt. <laughs> <laughs> so me, but... Then Simon, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, good. It was because of the skirt and because he's the one asking the question. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and uh, now I'm not sure if this is a funny or what the story is, but what's the worst case of space warts you've ever seen? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think the worst case of space warts that I've ever seen is the case that I emailed to Simon Pegg. And he knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> See, I, when I heard that question, I was like, when he emailed me, I'm like, is he going to find this funny? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't seem very good we had this. We had this back and forth. We were emailing oh each other God. about some of the more uh, cruder aspects of, of, uh, of the Star Trek fandom. And <laughs> it just degenerated into, uh, into warts somehow. <laughs> okay. So I, now I have to ask the, the serious but generic question. How much did J.J. ask you to prepare by watching like the older shows or the movies, or did he say go in blind? Well, he had captured the fundamental uh, essences of every character and already in the script along with his writing team, uh, so that by the time I, 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 me personally, by the time I came along, it was presented as an option. I could have seen the series, or I could have just um, started on, on a clean slate because it is the beginning, and and um, and it, it they obviously they're they're young, they're not even yet comfortable in their own skin. They're very, they're meeting for the very first time. They're discovering their calling, uh, some earlier than others, and um, and we had a lot of freedom ones that under that umbrella to sort of add whatever instinctual uh, tendencies we felt that the characters needed for, at that time. Yeah, for me, you know, uh, having watched Star Trek as a boy, being a long-term fan, I felt that it was important for me to bring some semblance of continuity to the character of, of Bones. Uh, you know, I, I had such a deep appreciation and respect for the wonderful work that Mr. Kelly did. So for me, the challenge was to really identify the very spirit and essence of, of, of what that character uh, uh, is and then sort of funnel it through what a younger version of, of Bones would be. And, uh, you know, that, that was a, a huge challenge and a responsibility that I, that I didn't take lightly. But uh, I'm very, we're very, very happy with the film. And the wonderful thing about it is that it doesn't matter. If, you, if you're a long-term Star Trek fan, there's a lot in this film for you. There's Red Shirt Death, there's Sulu with the Sword, there's all sorts of great stuff. If you've never seen a Star Trek episode or a movie before, go along to this movie because it just it is a movie that has been made for fans of film and of great cinema, and uh, it delivers its action-packed, it's fun, it's funny, uh, it, it pulls the heartstrings, and it's uh, it's character-based. It's a great ride. It is a great ride. I agree. I have to wrap up. So both of you, thank you so thank much. You.